Hey friends, I've had a lot of people want to know information about the trailers and I've never really gotten a chance to go over them. Hopefully this lighting isn't too bad over here in the shade, but anyways, I'll uh, get the PJ knocked out first and then um, hopefully get time for the Iron Bull. Anyways, this is a 2017 20 foot buggy hauler, that's what they call it, and uh, I think out the door i paid four thousand for it it's got 5200 pound axles under it so you know it's just enough trailer to haul diesel pickups with no problem at all i've never had an issue with it i don't know how many thousands of miles are actually on this trailer um but i've had zero issues um i'm patiently waiting for the batteries for the grinder to recharge so I can finish cutting the bolts off this truck. So I'll start up front here. It's got the big ball. Um, this is actually one of the couplers off the iron bolt trailers they sell. I like the way it works better than what comes on the PJs. This one you just grab it and it's locked. Run the pin through it and there you go. So unlock it just like so. Um, my other one got bent when my truck got wrecked and I was pulling this trailer. So that's why I had to do that. Um, this jack is fine. It works good, but I'd prefer one that's a little heavier. Um, this one, like I said, does just fine, but if I could choose, I'd have a heavier one. But instead, I got the spare tire mount up front. Um, I did add the toolbox. So... I don't really have much in it right now. I went and hauled hay with the big one. I did get one of these all weather harnesses. Battery for the winch. I mounted the winch up here. I'll get all this uncovered and uh, get a better shot of that. So hold on. That's off now. So see some of my welding is rusting not much of it but kind of irritated me they put the tire mount right in the center all the other ones I had seen were off to the side so it kind of really messed up what I wanted to do with the winch I wanted to put a big toolbox up here with the winch inside but that didn't happen so what I did is I got a winch plate here and took some square tubing and just welded supports all over the place and there's no way in hell that's moving at least not with anything that weighs less than 12,000 I also put the wireless controller for the winch right here it's solid and it's out of the weather and it runs down here plug it into here you can also Get the hardwired one plug into here this is a badland winch from harbor freight 289 bucks on sale and i've never ever had an issue with one um, the only issue i guess i have had is bad ground on the bottom side of this i've had that go bad but cheap connectors put a good connector on there and problem solved got a little too tight here mess that up um, the deck is pine, um, or not, sorry, not pine. Pine's the one that sucks. This is Douglas fir, and I took gear oil, uh, about 90 weight, and coated the whole thing, and it smelled like hell for probably about two and a half, three weeks, but it's all soaked in now, and the deck looks great. Um, these are the drive over fenders. You can't hurt these things. Just solid as could be. Yeah, I think they're out of quarter inch steel. Yeah, that looks about it. Yeah. You probably can't see it, but about quarter, yeah, it's quarter inch steel. It also has these jacks on the back. Pull the pin, put the jacks down. Uh, real nice for loading, especially the diesels that get real heavy. You know, keeps the trailer the way it's supposed to be, not moving around. Um, it doesn't force the tongue of the trailer to start trying to pick the truck up. So, 
the ramps on this one are right here. Sorry, I can't get a can't get any of them out because the trailer's in the way. But they latch on right here, just a couple little hooks, and you're on your way. One thing I'll say about them, though, is when you're bouncing down the road, you see the hooks for the ramps? They bounce over the top of that, and they get stuck. You try to pull them out, and they're hooked on the end. So you can turn the ramps around, turn them upside down, or what I'm going to do is weld a plate up there so that it can't bounce forward. Problem solved. Um, the only thing I'd say about this trailer, I'd do differently, is get the 22 footer, an extra two feet for crew cab long bed trucks would be nice. And also, to keep the back of it, back of the truck from hanging over, um, it'll hang out, you know, out here, which means you're supposed to try and find a way to tie it down this way. Is a pain in the ass because then the problem up front in order to tie down here so or chain down or whichever you might be doing so I wish the rub rail had come all the way to the front and had this light smaller and down lower or something different um, or had a rub rail on the front somewhere you could hook a chain but I'll put some D-rings on it. Sorry, I feel like I'm getting a cold. So, nose is giving me trouble. Um, overall, that's, that's it. I don't know what else to say about it. It's a great trailer. 20-foot um, buggy hauler. It's a 2017. I've never had any issues with it. Probably has... Oh, I bet you over 15,000 miles on it now in a year, and um, it's great. Travels down the road great, hauls hay great, hauls trucks great, hauls tractors great. I'll uh, have some pictures included, but not much else I can think of. Um, the coupler up front is adjustable, so you unbolt it get to level you want um oh one thing about it i would say is these chains are not long enough to cross them so some states require it's actually law that you have to keep them crossed out here um but these ones are only just long enough to get on the truck um going straight and that's that's literally it so Besides that, pretty good trailer. Um, oh, I already know the question's gonna come, how I did the power for the winch. Currently, I just wind it up here and it stays tucked up with the cover on when I need it. I just open this up and run the power to the terminals here and away we go. Usually this is full of chains and straps, but they're not in here right now. So, that's it. If you have any questions, ask them, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities. Have a good day.